What's up everybody? This is Montu coming at you once again. And uh what I'm about to do right now is uh do a review on two different products we carry here at Rugged Works. Uh one, as you see here, this is the Condor shotgun scabbard. Try to pick it up and give you a better look at it. See what it looks like. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on that and also going to be doing a review on the Condor shotgun reload pouch. Now this pouch right here is pretty awesome to me. Uh, I really like this pouch. That's why I decided to carry it in the store uh, and I'll get into in a few seconds I'll get into why uh, I like this pouch. What you see I also have here is uh, my old shotgun sling that I used to have. You know you people commonly kind of put them around their body like like that pretty much you know it had it holds 25 rounds some hold 50 rounds the reason I moved from uh, this particular design is because uh, one thing I don't like about this design is that it's not tactical as you can see if I was out in the woods uh, or uh, you know trying to hide this would be definitely a giveaway I'm not saying I'm going to be doing that or you would be doing that but these th these type of shotgun slings are fine. Uh, you know, I've had them for years. They work good. There's no problem with them in everyday life. But if you're looking for something a little bit more covert or tactical, I think the Condor shotgun reload pouch is definitely the answer to that. Um, the reason I say this is not tactical because if you were out in the woods, of course, with most shotgun shells, they come. They have these um, this type of coloration. You know, the the kind of brass. Uh, shiny metallic you know finish on the shells plus you the shells themselves are generally a bright red sometimes you can get them the military have them in green or you know standard they're going to be like some type of transparent translucent plastic or red shell and that definitely would uh, give away your position in the uh, in the environment so let's talk about the pouch first um, this pouch actually holds 25 rounds of shotgun shells. It's a neat little pouch. It's probably about, I say about six or seven inches long. Probably about, look like it's about four and a half, five inches wide. And probably the thickness, uh, the height of it is a little bit over right at two inches or so. So it has a little strap here that you pull. I'm trying to get closer to the camera. Sorry guys, but I'm doing this by myself today. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it comes with a Velcro strap, and it also has, of course, I like it's reinforced with buttons, so you have a Velcro and the buttons uh, to ensure that it, um, it holds well. It also has Velcro on the side here. Uh, now, on the side, you don't have the buttons, but the, the top portion actually helps. It'll do the job, and that's the little, I like that because that helps you, you know, run it open, pull it open, high, gives it a kind of high speed uh, hold point. Now, when you open this pack, uh, you can do several things. You can go ahead and lean it down like that and have access to uh, eight shells immediately. Now, I don't have the shells in here. I'm going to go ahead and take them out, out of the uh, sling and go ahead and finish loading it in a second. But also, you can have it like you can hold it, you know, use it in that formation. Or you can go ahead and just pull the quick release side and it'll open up like that. And that's, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and load these four in here. It has just, a, you know, the uh, same type of, uh, kind of like bungee material that you slide your shells into. And it gives you the capability where, you know, you can keep buck shots in this section and slugs down in the lower section. It gives you that versatility too, to uh, kind of range your ammo. Something I like. And it's it's made of, that seems like that's about a thousand dinner cordura. Um, it's good material, I like it. Um, so that's it completely open. It also comes with the moly attachment strap, the moly straps on the back. So you can attach this to, uh, your web gear, anything you have, you can attach it to your vest. If you got a moly vest, you can attach it to your backpack. And what I'm sure you, you can actually attach it to the Condor shotgun scabbard here. And that that's a great that's a great uh, 
a great feature because it allows you to uh, have your ammo tied right into your shotgun, you know, your shotgun uh, scabbard. Man, that's, you know, you can't get it any better than that. But like I say, you can have it in several, two configurations. You can have it completely open like this, or you can close it a little bit and have it open in this configuration. It's just, it's entirely up to you how you want to run it. But it holds uh, 25 rounds. And if I want to just completely seal up, I can do the button so I can just kind of, you know, just uh, use the Velcro only. So that's one of the cool things about this pouch. Uh, these are 15, I think, 15.99 here at the store. Next we have the shotgun scabbard. Let me adjust this camera. So sorry about that, y'all. So you can see what I got. Of course, I got my 12 gauge in here right now. Take that out. Don't need that. And this is the scabbard. This is what it looks like. It has moly uh, attachments on both sides. It has uh, four straps here. You can, um, I mean, it's, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's just. It's just a good little pouch for shotguns, and it should be able to fit some rifles. Now, of course, if you have a scope, like a red dot on your shotgun, let me see if I can give you a better look at it. That's what it looks like. I'll try to give you just a slow close-up. If you look in here, it has a removable sling attachment. You know, just give you, trying to give you a good close-up. Slow pass by. Of what it looks like but well, that's all it is to it you know you just slide this on you can uh, you can throw it over your shoulder like that and carry a shotgun and different configurations like that mm -hmm. uh, and that's pretty much uh, I'm sorry about they had a customer one second. How you doing? How you doing?